Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is meant by the thrust reverser system, the types of thrust reversers, how the thrust reversers are deployed, and the conditions that need to be satisfied for thrust reverser deployment. First, let's see what is meant by a thrust reverser system. The thrust reverser is one of the systems that is installed on the engines. Normally, on an aircraft, the force that is acting in the forward direction is called as the thrust force. The thrust reverser is used to create a backward force on the aircraft. This is mainly used during landing or in case of a reject takeoff, where the thrust reversers are used along with the brakes and the spoilers in order to stop the aircraft on the runway. If we consider a turbofan engine, the thrust force is produced by pushing the air that is entering the engine backwards. The thrust reverser system creates a backward force by pushing the air that is entering the engine forward. Depending on the type of the thrust reverser system, the bypass air or both the bypass and the core air may be pushed forward. As soon as the aircraft lands on the runway, the thrust reversers are deployed in order to increase the drag force that is acting on the aircraft. The thrust reversers are used along with the brakes and the ground spoilers in order to reduce the speed of the aircraft until it reaches a safe speed for taxiing. Depending on the type of engine, there are different types of thrust reversers that are installed. On turbojet and low bypass turbofan engines, a clamshell or target type of thrust reverser is used. These reversers are also called as bucket type reversers. They will deflect the air coming from the core and the bypass section forward to create the backward force. In high bypass turbofan engines, blocker doors or translating sleeve type thrust reversers are installed. In these reversers, only the bypass air is pushed forward and the air from the core section continues to be pushed backward. In turboprops, reverse thrust is created by adjusting the pitch of the propeller to change the airflow direction. Now let's see what are the requirements for the thrust reverser system. For the thrust reverser system to operate, thrust lever input from the cockpit, a hydraulic system and signal from the landing gear computer are required. In the cockpit to deploy the thrust reversers, the thrust lever has to be brought to idle and then pulled further back. In some aircraft, a separate lever may be provided to set reverse thrust. The reverse thrust is selected as soon as the main landing gears touch the ground during landing. In case of a reject takeoff, the reverse thrust is immediately selected and the takeoff is aborted. Similar to forward thrust application, the reverse thrust may also be adjusted. The reverse thrust may be increased from reverse idle power to maximum reverse power by moving the levers further back. Maximum reverse thrust will be used initially to reduce the speed of the aircraft. But there can be certain speed limitations that are mentioned until which maximum reverse can be used. This is to avoid foreign object damage on the engines. The thrust reverser deployment 
is achieved with the help of hydraulic power. The hydraulic system that is installed on the aircraft provides the required hydraulic pressure for the thrust reversal actuator. If the aircraft has more than one hydraulic system, then each reverser would be provided with separate hydraulic power. This is because in case of failure of one of the hydraulic systems, only one reverser will be affected. The thrust reverser deployment also depends on the landing gear computer. This is because the landing gear computer has to send a signal that the main landing gears have touched the ground. This is because the thrust reverser should be used only when the aircraft is on the ground. So if reverse thrust is selected when the aircraft is in flight, the landing gear computer will sense that the landing gear has not touched the ground and will not allow the thrust reverser to deploy. What would happen if the thrust reversal locking mechanism fails? In case the thrust reversers get unlocked when the aircraft is in flight or on ground and the crew did not select it, then the engine control unit will immediately reduce the thrust on that engine to idle thrust. Can the thrust reverser be used to reverse an aircraft? This is also called as power back, but normally the thrust reverser cannot be used for reversing an aircraft. This is because many precautions need to be taken and it will burn a lot of fuel since the engines are designed to produce forward thrust and reverse thrust is produced mainly to slow down the aircraft. So that's all for my video on the thrust reverser system. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.